This is Our Lives, I'm Gwen Edwards. My guest today is a student and she's an aspiring journalist. She writes a lot and she posts a lot of stories about her life and death struggle. Destiny Savaria joins me now. And Destiny, thank you so much for sharing your story. With my story, I kind of wanted to share it because I've been looking for a kidney donor and I was hoping that with a platform that you guys have. Destiny, tell me how old you were when you found out that you needed a kidney. When I first found out I was 11 and that was when I initially was diagnosed with kidney failure. Since I was a child, I was lucky enough to receive the kidney within a year. But after my kidney failed again and when I was 18, that was when I found out I needed a kidney donor as for a second time. And talk about the treatments that you're going through. I get hemodialysis. It is when they use a catheter in your chest or put needles in your arm to clean out my blood and take the fluid off because the kidney, because the kidney doesn't work, it cannot filter out the fluid in my body. And that can cause a lot of problems. It especially puts a lot of strain on my heart. Again, that goes back to how I ended up having a, a seizure and a stroke because my blood pressure was so high due to all the fluid on my body. Now, you are currently looking for a donor match. Yes, a living kidney donor. Um, it's hard because not many people are, not many living donors choose to donate. Most people are donors after they die. And there is a kidney foundation website that you can go to and there's also a phone number or phone line that you can call if you would like to get tested or would like to donate. And talk about your aspirations of being a journalist. I really love writing. Creative writing is one of my passions, but I also found a passion for journalism when um, just taking a class completely by chance. This is really amazing. It's something that I can expose the truth and bring light to not only other people's struggles, but how I relate to that struggle and what we can do about it and how we can spread the word and hopefully bring more attention to it. We thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Destiny, and we're hoping that uh, there is someone out there who is willing to help uh, and become a living donor. Thank you for having me. And we wanna thank you for watching our lives. We hope to see you the next time.